you are for sure right. Yeah, Vigar definitely might be able to instigate Rise later on down the line. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here we are, guys. Night fight night. Fight club. Fight cup. You yeah, know, whatever. Number 10. National ESL game number three, the finals, 1-1 one, one apiece. Vigar won it for I carry the, this game. Caitlin won it for Istvan in the first round. And here we are, game number three. The tensions are heightened. We got 450 eager viewers to see who's going to come out here on top. And for some strange reason, they seem to enjoy listening to both Spunkify and myself as we just spew forth random garbage. Maybe they're, like, incapable of hearing us because I actually have heard nothing in the chat. So maybe they just uh, have the sound muted off and just uh, paying attention to what's at hand. Uh, so they're not listening to us at all. No, I I, I will be the uh, the negative one. Uh, what's up with my frame rate? Come on, frame rate. There we go. Solidify. Awesome. Great. So we do have Vigar. He's going to be making the way here to the mid. It does look like Mechi Pendant Health Potion are on the works for him. Uh, so that's a little. No, that's that's the same as what we had last game, I do believe. Uh, we have uh, Boots of Speed and three HP pots for Istvan. Hmm. I think we're actually going to have to cut out the YouTube for a second. No, I was just, I'm postulating. Yeah, there we go. Fixed my frame rate a little. Yeah, Vigar uh, looks the same. 42 magic resist, 22 armor, 339 movement speed. So I think he's running exactly the same way as he did before. With uh, the Mechie Pendant, health potions, and you know movement speed, some armor, and magic res. I think it uh, works out well for him. So Rise, what's Rise running? He's not running that smite this round. He no, that. he is uh, running a more standard... Uh, well, not, I mean, teleport's not really standard, but... Teleport's but standard. But Ignite, which is yeah. very standard. And uh, usually, usually Rise goes Flash Ignite, but w of course for 1v1 mid, it's a little different. So there is, of course, the teleport... But he's going boots and, of course, three HP pots. You got to be very confident to not take a teleport. You have to have a, a plan in mind, and you should probably have tried and tested it before you came at least this far into the one versus one tournament. Yeah, I still don't know how he is going to survive past level six. Uh, well, we'll have oh, to see. Oh, by being extremely aggressive out the gate. <laughs> Yep, so overload going right into I carry's face. I mean, it's kind of hard to not hit the little Yordle. He's like a compact target. Yeah. But the the range on overload is actually pretty hefty itself. It's just It I, is. They they wanted him to be, you know, he is essentially like a carry, they said. So they wanted him to be a AP carry where that his uh abilities had better range and had a shorter cooldown so he could spam them. And in fact, watch when Istvan gets level two. Watch for the bind and Q because he can bind, he can Q bind and then Q again, mm -hmm. which puts out a ton of damage if he does it right. See, look at this. And he's going to do another Q and look, two bars of HP at level two. Well, I carry. I mean, I carry is at only at level one. He only has four hundred hit points, but yeah, that's a good two hundred solidified damage. Yeah, Isfan with that rise. I mean, the Q passive gives you the cooldown reduction, and then his own passive gives him you know that shave off that one second. He can definitely become very spammy later on. If you're still with me, Duder. No, they okay. are. Okay, yeah. good. I thought you were just making a statement. <laughs> Wow, it's nice to know but, that you know, somebody I think can agree Istvan with me. <laughs> is like sporting some like regen runes or something because his health. I don't even know. Did he use an HP pot? I can't even tell. Uh, well, but his and mana three. and health were just like shooting up after that. Pretty sure it's boots and three, or it's not boots and five. No, it's boots and three. Uh, so, cloth armor is five. So he hasn't used a potion then. I don't think so. It doesn't look like he has, but he may have. I don't. His HP is just like skyrocketing up. Well, check out uh, check out his attack speed. It's .026 modified. That kind of indicates, to me at least, that he has at least 20 points into defensive, right? Yes, it could be possible if uh, he's going defensive of rise and then going into utility tree. But um, I don't, I'm I'm almost wondering, like, I wish I would have asked him what it, what he actually went. Yeah, he's just now using one HP pot there. Uh, it's really hard to read three HP pots <laughs> when it's uh, is that three the number three doesn't really show up too well, but um, it just doesn't show up at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even think it was. That's why I was like, wait, he's already done a one HP pop. I don't think he even used it. No. See, like they're trading blows there. I carry and Istvan trading blows. Mm -hmm. I carry does not have any HP pots now. 
But Istvan is low on mana. Yeah, but if, if Istvan can go, you know, cheek for cheek here, I carry will be the one to return home simply because of the lack of that extra uh, health potions. But I carry, I mean, he didn't go back to town last time either. I do think Ryze is running some kind of health regen. Uh, you know, yeah, he's just comp. he's using an HP pot there, but if you were watching, you know, when his health went down, he wasn't using an HP pot. His health was just like skyrocketing, and it may have been because he went defensive and he got the points in defensive that gave him health regen based off of how much mana he had. Plus utility as well. Yep. Yes, plus utility. Yeah, so he might be running that. Uh, I carry doesn't seem to carry because he's just going to keep farming. He's up to five ability power with that Q spam of his. They're just going to go back and forth. Creeps is twenty six seventeen actually in favor of Rise. And uh, he's going to be hitting those level 6s soon. That's where we should theoretically see Vigar start uh, shining a little Pulling bit. Pulling ahead, I think. Yeah. Because Ryze's ultimate it gives him a you know some bonus mana, which obviously helps. Yep. But it doesn't, in a 1v1 situation, give him exactly what he needs. You know, it kind of spreads his damage out, makes him a little bit more AoE related. And it, Vigar is just perfect for taking out mages. Vigar was the, like the original anti-mage. I hear that they actually had to play some uh, twisting around with his skills because when they introduced those mana-less champions, he didn't quite work so well. <laughs> yeah, Man versus mana-less cha mana champions, he just got wrecked. <laughs> yeah. So he did no damage. Had to had to fiddle a little bit with him. But you saw the stun. I think he took a tower shot as well, Istvan. So he's down to half, <laughs> but he just regens it. It looks to be about you know, between 15 and 20 HP per 5. Yeah, I'm betting it's because of his defensive. I'm betting he's going defensive and he's using the defensive uh, masteries that uh, allow him to regen based off of his mana amount. Well, I have six HP per five, so <laughs> he's definitely rocking a little bit more than that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, look at this. He's oh, I uh, could almost trying to bait him in tower range, but he, what he did is he he was uh, waiting for him to go back. He went up there, hit him with a Q, you know, to prolong him going back as much as possible, obviously. Yeah, he really wants to try to press this tower, but he did get back to town. Istvan uh, should probably know that by now, and now the creep wave arrives, so the timing push not exactly going to work uh, right here. He's not going to land any extra damage on the tower. Timing push, I feel oh. like I'm watching StarCraft. But look at that, not being able to take out that last creep because I carry came in on that. With a blue potion, some boots, four, and we've seen this before, the four health potions, four mana potions. Uh, Rise is just... Basically, you're going to stay in the lane for forever. <laughs> yeah, where'd Rise end up? Has he gone back to Rise base? actually went back to base. Yep, good, good. I'd be very interested to see if he's going to use the teleport to come back or if he's just going to walk it, because his, his tower is actually in no danger whatsoever. He teleported. He didn't really need to do that, I don't think. But maybe. he did it because he didn't want to, you know, he did not want to give up that much experience. Yeah. You know, early game, that experience is going to be very crucial. Yes, the tower is in no danger. He could have walked back, but that walk, especially without level two boots, is going to be a quite long one. He does have level two magic penetration boots, though. <laughs> so, <gonna> say. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't, uh, now that I say that and look, but uh, it still would have been quite a long walk, and uh, Icarry was already in the lane, so if Icarry wasn't in the lane, he may have taken the walk, but, uh, you know, not worth it right now. Nope, but we are going to get some good spam coming out here onto Icarry. He's rocking that blue potion right now. We got a Sapphire yeah, Crystal now. Yeah, at 38 ability power versus Istvan's zero, of course, because Q does not scale with ability power. Not at all. Like it does scale with mana. But that's why he does have that Sapphire Crystal to try to help him out a little bit and uh, but you know as we said if we can get a good combo from my carry it's gonna really back if we get a good combo Esteban's gonna drop faster than Timo drops <laughs> yeah it did take a few tries to get Timo down but we have zero kills eight and a half minutes uh, towers are fairly healthy although we do have some some pressure here on I carry uh, most of the fighting is done in his nick of the woods and I mean we are missing about 500 hit points there on that tower you know, I think Istvan, he can obviously do more sustained damage to I carry, you know, with Q, Q being on such a low cooldown. But if I think they face off 1v1 one 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 right now, I, uh, Istvan would not be able to kill I carry. I carry would, might actually win because of the fact that he could land his Dark Matter because Istvan wouldn't be moving. And for the fact that I carry's ultimate completely overpowers Istvan's E and R. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of Istvan, where'd he go? He backed again. Oh. He's now back in the lane with uh, some mana, <laughs> mana pods. Health potions, and too. Pods. Yeah. 
That was interesting. I didn't expect him to go back so very quickly, but I suppose he felt the need. And, uh, I don't know, he, he missed a decent amount of experience, but all these creeps are still here waiting for him to, uh, um, oh, dark matter going out. Yeah, he's using his dark matter there to clear out the rest of those creeps so that those, uh, Isuan either has to let the creeps attack the tower, or he has to use his ultimate there, or his E, to actually clear them out. So, uh, you know, just basically buying himself some time, because I bet viger has gone back now, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He's definitely back in town. He's going to make the long, little, short leg walk. But uh, he picked himself up. Uh, looks like a Doran's ring. And again, some health potions, another mana pot. Looking for that sustainability. So right now we have the movement speed advantage, I think, for Istvan. And he also has that armor penetration, which could come in very handy. You mean magic penetration. What'd I say? You said armor. <laughs> uh, totally meant magic penetration. Oh, see, look at this. Here comes the damage from Istvan. Istvan having to back up, but look, Dark Matter is... Oh! 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 It's so close. He gets Health with potion, health potion, health potion. Gonna be enough. Gonna he, be you know, enough. He used his ultimate there for, the, for the, the spell vamp and actually got it back. But that was close. That was extremely close there. I don't think... Oh, man. If uh, Viger hadn't already taken some damage there, Viger would have died. I mean, I mean, Isvan would have died instead. Vigar pleading for his life here as the tower gets rocked. Another thousand hit points gone. Um, Isvan looks very strong at this point to take the cup, defend his throne for another week. and um, But he is out of mana. Vigar's going to come uh, back yeah, here. Yeah, he just used his last mana potion there. Uh, but... I mean, where is Viger right now? Okay, Viger just coming back in the lane here. He needs to prolong his time going back as long as possible. If he could actually... Yeah, there he goes. So, oh! He's going to get the Dark Matter off. And look, oh, his ultimate is down. If his ultimate is up, he would have been able to take him out, unfortunately. But he did waste it there in that earlier battle. Just not enough time to come back up. And but like I said, he, the longer he can prolong his time going back, the more of a chance he can get back in there. Because now... He is going to have, be able to attack this tower here. I'm not sure if Isvan's teleport is actually up. I don't think it is. But he's going to be able to attack this tower here. He's going to be able to do some... Oh, yeah, it is. It is up. He's going to be able to attack this tower. He's going to get some damage on it. Try to, you know, get some uh, get some experience and creep farm back before he comes back. But uh, now we are, we are doing the dance yet again. Uh, a little bit of a minor reset in that case. But, no, he's going to chase him. He's going to chase him. going to chase him. Not going to get him. Um... See, now Icarus in a bad spot because now Ikari has to wait for his ultimate there to be a threat to Istvan. But look at this. Look at this. So much damage there coming out from Istvan. Being able to spam that Q in that one for one situation. The only time Viger is now going to be a threat is when his ultimate is back up. And I'm not too sure he's going to get that chance. We just had Icarus go back. He is going to teleport in. 630 hit points. Should be able to fend this off. I'm not too sure if it's going to be enough, though. Look at that. He's actually stopping the creeps from attacking the tower. But he would have to use... Oh, look at that. So much damage. He's going to have to actually use dark matter there once if he wants to actually clear the creeps out. 400 hit points and counting. 400 looks like so. He did defend this wave. I carry <laughs> popping those health bots like candy at this point. Istvan definitely seems to get a good burst out of it now. Uh, I mean, all he has is that Sapphire Crystal and two levels into his ultimate. And it's yeah, just I mean, dropping. it's not it's not even his ultimate doing the damage so much. I mean, obviously it gives you mana, but it's actually because it's just because of the Q and how low of a cooldown and he can just spam that every single time it's up, which is like every two seconds or so with the cooldown reduction. And look at that, he's not he's walking right up and he doesn't even care. It's <laughs> I carry doing tiny amounts of damage now to Estevan there. He's got a no mantle, so I carry is not, in my opinion, going to be able to take out this one, even with his ultimate at this point. It's um not looking good at this point. I carry <laughs> still outrange it, and this is going to be it. This is going to be it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and that's GG. Not even going to bother with that tower. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to defend this tower up against this level 11 rise, but it does look like Istvan is our new. Uh, fight club number 10 champion. Uh, I'm coming for you, Jester. Come here. Come, yeah. here. Come down the river. Come down the river. 1v1. Let's go. <laughs> 1v1? Where are you, anyways? Alright, so this fan, he did take the cup. He is... Oh, there you are. 
Okay, that was kind of a bait and a half, wasn't it? <laughs> and there is my kill. <laughs> All right. Actually, I just came into that brush when you came in there. Uh huh. All right, so Mazahar is showing his dominance there, but Istvan yeah, going to be taking it. No item, just a ring. What's up? Going to take it two one over IK. IK coming second yet again. So good games, well played to all parties. We had thirty one people here in the cup, and thirty one people did play. And to all, uh, everyone, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for participating in these cups. It's great to see you know the community come out and play these games. It's uh, heartwarming to say the least. And that will be that for the one versus one fight club number ten. So Smugify, thank you again for streaming for commentary. It was a pleasure, guys. Here. I had a great time. It was a good cup, and uh, congrats to Istvan. And big thanks to our admins as well, uh, Jaden the Broker, Goose, and I think uh, we had Jason helping out Zeus. So you know, good congrats to them for helping us out and keeping everything moving smoothly. So the next cast, I'm going to see what we can do about uh, getting the two v two tomorrow casted. But past that, we got the ESL Premier League coming out on Thursday. So. Stay tuned to it, guys. We appreciate it. We'll catch you later. Bonkify out. See you later.